in football as in life, it's important to know where the goal post is. For the Premier League, it seems they found it at the bottom of a pint of Guinness. Yep, you heard it right. The Premier League is switching its beer allegiance, trading in the king of beers, Budweiser, for a frothy stout. This isn't just a casual beer swap, folks. We're talking about a 40 minute store sponsorship deal. Now that's a lot of pints. It's a significant increase from the league's current partnership with Budweiser. It's like trading in a light lager for a full-bodied stout. Let's have a bit of fun. If football teams were beers, who would they be? Would Manchester United be a smooth, reliable lager or a complex, dark stout? And what about Liverpool? A crisp Pilsner or a robust Porter? So next season, instead of Budweiser, we're toasting to victories with a frothy Guinness. Talk about a stout defense. Now, if you think this deal happened over a few pints in a pub, think again. The Premier League's strategic dance with Guinness was more akin to a football match on a global scale, with every move carefully calculated. The stakes? A cool 40 million pounds. The game plan? Well, that's where the fun begins. Imagine the negotiation table as a football pitch with the Premier League on one side and Guinness on the other. The ball? That's the multi-million pound sponsorship deal. The Premier League, with its savvy moves and strategic plays, dribbles the ball past the stout defense of Guinness, inching closer to the goal. But let's not forget the financial scrutiny surrounding the league. Picture this as a rowdy pub brawl breaking out in the middle of the match. Despite the chaos, the Premier League stays focused, expertly weaving through the fray, eyes on the prize. And then, with a swift decisive kick, they shoot. The ball sails through the air, arcing over the heads of the Gannis team and lands right into the back of the net. Goal, the sweet sound of success, the cheers of victory, the clinking of Guinness pints. And just like that, the Premier League scores a goal right into the pint glass of Guinness. Cheers to that. But what does this mean for you, the bear drinking football watching enthusiast? Well, apart from the obvious fact that you might find yourself developing an unexpected taste for stout, there could be some other interesting changes on the horizon. Picture this, every Premier League stadium, from Old Trafford to Anfield, decked out in the iconic Guinness black and white. And what about special promotions? I can almost see it now. Score predictions with your pint, anyone? Or perhaps a golden goal giveaway, where your pint is on the house if your team scores within the first five minutes. But let's not forget the potential side effects. I mean, can you imagine the sight of footballers running around with Guinness mustaches? Now, that would be a sight to behold. And let's not even start on the debate of whether a well-poured Guinness can indeed be considered a performance-enhancing substance. So, next time you're watching a match, Remember, the Premier League isn't just playing for the love of the game, but also for the love of the brew. And if that doesn't make football more interesting, well, there's always the beer.